All right, guys, we are ready to get the build started for Quinn version 2 from 3dkitbash.com. We have the eyes, the head, the head pin, the leg parts right here, the chest, the abdomen, the pixie haircut, the arm stuff right here, a selection of the 3DK pins that you find for building her. Uh, these are the arm pegs. These are the friction pins. Uh, all of this is included in the set. And this is a standard 3DK pin. Standard 3DK pin, you do need one for this build because it helps connect, it does connect her chest and her abdomen. So the tools that you're gonna want to have to start with hex key for popping eyes out of the head should you want to. Uh, you'll need a hobby knife for reaming if any of the ports are tight and you will need pliers in case you're wanting some help holding the uh, the pins because sometimes they, they can hurt your fingers. I like to start building the legs first because they end up being a real quick easy thing to uh, hold on to whenever you're assembling her. With the upper leg her right side will be, there's a section that comes out further, all right? So this is her, I can tell that this is her right hip. And you can just kind of align the legs and see which one aligns with it best so you now know that this is her right knee. I'm gonna use friction pins to connect this section. All I have to do, there was no reaming. I haven't reamed these, these parts at all. So, at the end of this build, this will be straight off the uh, the printer, and then I might do a video where I, I go back through and clean things up a little and show how I how I do that. So this was all printed on a MakerBot Replicator 2. So we've got her knees assembled now, or her knees assembled to her hips at the moment. Uh, from this point, I am going to go on and put the hip pins in. This takes a little bit of pressure right there, and it pops in. See, there was no cleaning. That's that's straight off the the uh, the build plate. So that one's ready. I like to assemble, go on and assemble the legs. Let's see. This one's pretty easy to line up too. You can line these up using uh, using those parts. But just clips in. It just clips in. This is all PLA. All right, so we have another port right there. This is another 3DK friction pin. Go on and get it there. We have a completed leg. All right, there's a, another leg. All right, so with the, I'm gonna go on and put the abs together right now to the chest. Again, this is your standard 3DK pin. And this is actually a spin port. I need to do a video on how to identify spin ports. But you see how I just press that in? And then you've got your corresponding port on the underside of the chest. So this should easily, fairly easily, just snap in like so. And then this this pin will actually allow you to rotate the chest. You see that? Pretty fun, okay. So assembling the leg legs to these guys right here, you're gonna need to take it at kind of an angle, probably. I've tried to make that pin a little bit easier to slide into position but it you will need to experiment a little bit there's there's only so much you know you can do whenever you're trying to assemble something like this look this is the point of the friction pins I'm gonna take that off there you go it comes at an angle I'm actually gonna do the same to this guy too Now we have her legs connected. For the head, I uh, this set actually has like a number of of eye variations you can use. 
I like the ones with the, the glint to them. So I'm going to use those. Uh, the hair pieces, let's see. I'm going to go on and put her hairpin in. This is how this hair piece connects. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to put it in this part first. So you can see that pin connects to the hair piece. You assemble, you put on the front part of her hair. And then you can put on the second part. Remember these parts these parts have not been cleaned at all. Like I'm I'm building this straight from the build plate. I am gonna I'm gonna clean this edge real fast, the front edge. Make sure it goes in. There you go. Something to give it just a little bit of an angle. All right, so there's her head. Her head is complete. And this will pop, this will pop on to that neck pin. So she'll be able to look around up cool at this point I guess we can just set her up all right to build the arms try to center up to that the negative space right there the edge that goes out the furthest will be the front, the front of her body. So you can tell this is a left shoulder. So I've done this enough, I, I can tell the left, the left elbow. Uh, if you have, if you have any sort of question, just like line up the arms and see what looks right. I know it can be a little, little confusing. These are the arm pegs. These are a tight fit. They're a tight fit on purpose to help uh, keep the tension on the arms uh, uh, tight and easy to rotate. So I just put, I did assemble it with pliers. So here is the, this is, this will be her left arm. Gonna... Okay, you see that? See how clean that is? That's what we're going for. That would be what I hope you can achieve. All right, since this is her left arm, we grab her left hand. And you, you can rotate with these pegs. See that? We do the same over here. Go on and add this guy in too. The pliers really help. See how they just pop in. It it takes a few times to just kind of practice, and then you're you get pretty used to it. Sometimes you might need to rotate them to clear them up and get them to to go tighter. Okay, so here are the shoulder pins. See how they just kind of pop in. these pop in and then they connect in right here oh. 
There you go. That will be able to rotate and raise out. There we go. Rotate. It'll be a little tight at first. This is uh, this is just a very straightforward Quinn. I'm not adding any felt or anything, and this is built. This is assembled straight off the the 3D printer.